So, previously, I covered an e-machines that, that I didn't actually uh, test because it had a best tech power supply. I mean, that's kind of probably what I get for trying to, for intentionally trying to look for a computer that's intentionally a piece of junk. Well, I got <laughs> a piece of junk, exactly what I want. But anyway, uh, this is a Dell Inspiron 530. Mm. And I'm assuming this thing also probably isn't that great either, because, well, for one thing, uh, if you look at the side of the case, it's yellowed. Uh, I, I do like the color beige, but uh, not when it's on, like, a computer this new. Oh, great, but, uh, anyway, um, anyway, just me making terrible financial decisions that are totally not gonna impact me later on in my life. <laughs> Oh, great. Well, anyway, uh, so I don't think this thing has a uh, disk drive here, but it does probably have one in here. This button feels like a fucking or something. So, yeah, anyway, uh, I got this for... I actually don't remember why. Probably just because I, uh... Oh, oh, well, that's a, you know, micro... No, a neat little mini tower for... Uh, not too much, and, well... I mean, I'm already getting two computers, why not get another one? And thus, I'm probably not gonna be getting more computers for now. Oh boy, it's gonna be just like, kind of like turning 23 all over again. I'm making videos of, about demonstrating different versions of Windows in the current year. Getting three computers at once. <laughs> or at fairly similar times. It's a whole shaboom shebang again. Already breaking milestones. Anyway, but yeah, so this would have came with Windows Vista home basic and it has a core 2 duo and well yeah it doesn't really have a cheat sheet that we can use on the uh, sorry but as we can see here there are four usb ports which is quite impressive there's a spot for a uh, second no for a third extra no that's a spot for a firewire there are spots for some different cards like you know, compact Flash, micro drive, uh, all this stuff. Anyway, let me go around the outside, or let me go to the back of the computer. Now, it's one thing I will note is the fact that there are barely any legacy ports, just like the Dell Inspiron 3252 I have. But what there is, is a VGA port, which is your only option for a hard drive uh, for, uh, for display. It's also missing a screw. So yeah, another piece of junk, especially since the, also since the, uh, Vista Home Basic COA is already got, already has literally no, literally has barely anything of the key left. I mean, that's fine, it's Vista Home Basic, it's, yeah, but, now we got four more USB ports, and Ethernet, and well, we got six audio ports. I wonder if that's where all the development for this computer went into, just the audio. Well, I mean, you do have some expansion slots down there for upgrading purposes. But before I go plug this in, I wanna go look inside this one too to make sure it doesn't have a best tech power supply like that e-machines that I previously covered. I'm not saying last week because it's these videos of these specific series is not going out on a weekly basis, but yeah. All right, I've gotten the uh, thumb screw. Uh, Right, so now we have to go look inside. Well, that is a high pro power supply, which isn't as bad as. Which, actually, uh, honestly, that's not as bad as best tech, but, well. I still might want to get that replaced in the future, since this has not been tested. It's also missing a drive cable, so, uh, yay! Not really. Actually, not. Pretty obvious circuit. Well, it's pretty obvious that it's a high pro power supply, because you can see high pro upside down right there. Inside, we've got some memory, and we got our Intel processor, got cables, got, you can see the uh, stuff for the power thing. There's no, uh, as I, I guess, there's no disk drive in this spot. There's a thing right there. The uh, warning is upside down. Well, so this PC was uh, built in 2009. But yeah, not really much I can say here. So let's go plug this in. I hope there's no fireworks show. Now I've plugged in. Now I've got the cables running. I'm gonna have to turn on a fan. 
I don't need a mice for this, I don't think, so, you know, let's go. Log this in and hope that there's no fireworks show. Kinda of scared, but... It's turned on. Not getting any, uh, display output. Or keyboard output. Unless this light has something to do. Oh, I didn't turn it on! Well... F2 is set up. System info, so we've got... Looks like a very old boss. Intel Core 2 Duo E7400 at 2.8 GHz. Memory install is 2 GB. DDR2 SD RAM, so that's not bad. Uh, well. Let's see, uh, standard CMOS features. Well, the CMOS battery is dead. I'm going to uh, save and exit to setup. No, save and exit setup. I was just now realized the uh, game more effect thing is it's pre rendered though. So, diskette drive zero, I seek failure. Hopefully just gonna stay blank on this. Oh, it's not, it's trying to boot from the disk. No boot device available, press enter key to try. And we'll... That is when I'm gonna hit the power button because I don't want to, uh, you know, so thankfully this PC didn't have a technical problem. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah. And with that, that's gonna be all I'm gonna do for this computer for now. I don't have a hard drive in it. I can't really probably get up and running at the moment. And yeah, so with that, thanks for watching. I will see you next week or whenever I upload a video next. Bye.